Hey there, everybody. We're going to take a quick look at the delete face command inside of Inventor. I happen to be running Inventor 2019. And I want to talk about the versatility of this command. First of all, uh, it does a couple of different things. Uh, first of all, it will allow you to turn a solid model. So if you're looking at this part right here, let's just say you wanted to turn this into a surface and you wanted to remove something. Maybe you're going to be doing some thickening and you didn't want to deal with a shell command. You can actually pick a face and delete it. And basically what it's gonna do is turn this entire object into a shell. So now you can see inside of it and you could come in here and do some thickening and some different commands. I, I very rarely have used it that way. The way that I use the delete face command is this is typically cleaning up geometry. So the first thing I wanna talk about is when you have bad geometry. So if we take a look here, these two fillets on this left side, compared to the right side, these look like they're incomplete. So this was maybe a modeling error. Maybe it was done as an extrusion, perhaps. But I really want to get rid of these and redo them. So first thing I'm going to do is just issue delete face. And the magic happens with delete face when you turn heel on. So I'm going to pick this face and this face. I'm going to turn heel on. And the trick here is you have to make sure that you have adjacent faces to what you're removing that can actually heal. If you don't have that, then it's probably gonna give you an error or give you something unusual. But this one's pretty straightforward. It's gonna basically give you a nice sharp corner. And then what I can do is I can come in here and I can add uh, my fillets in. Maybe I want these to be a little bit bigger right about there and I just cleaned up that corner, so now I have these correct fillets on those corners. So cleaning up geometry is probably one of the biggest reasons I use this. Let's say you get something imported or from a vendor, you get something off a of grab CAD. The cool thing is it actually shows up as a feature in your browser, so you can actually move these things back and forth. So another example is maybe you have just an error in the model. So you have that, we all have that one person that we work with that just doesn't model great, and they end up leaving these little pieces here. Maybe it's a sliver, and you wanna clean that up. I could go in and find this feature. Uh, I could come in here and find it, but sometimes whenever you delete a feature, there's connected or dependent features related to it. So if I edit this feature, we can see there's actually an extrusion here. So this is actually done for a reason, but let's just pretend that it wasn't done for a reason. Let's just say this was accidental. If I try to get rid of this extrusion and say I don't want it and I just hit delete, First of all, if I hit OK, all kinds of other things are going to potentially fail on me here. So there might be connected things to this. Uh, in this case, there wasn't a whole bunch connected to it. But the more complicated your models are, the more chance you have of when you delete a feature having issues that come along with that. So what you could do is just leave that feature there. So let's say this was, again, kind of a mistake or a little leftover from another feature. I can hit delete face. Again, I have some nice adjacent faces. So this face here is gonna come over here and connect to this. You have to make sure that you hit heal and hit okay. And it's gonna clean that face up. And let's say that eventually you need to get this back into that shape. You can just drag your end apart up and it adds that feature right back in. So nice for cleaning up geometry that would otherwise be affected if you deleted it because it was higher up in your history. The other thing that is really good here is whenever you're totally modifying geometry. So let's say this is a vendor supplied component and I don't either have access to it, maybe they went out of business, maybe they don't have their new designs yet, but I don't need these through pockets here to be all filleted and rounded. So what I can do, I'm going to go to a left side view. I'm going to issue my delete face and I'm just going to do a window and anything inside that window is going to get selected. And now what I can do is choose what I want to remain. So in this case, uh, I accidentally grabbed that hole. So I'm going to keep that. I don't want that to go away. And then I want all four of these faces on each one of these to remain. So I'll come over to this other side here and I will keep that and that. And then I will also keep that and that. I'll turn my heel on 
And basically what it's going to do is remove all of those fillets inside and outside super quick. So you could have done this with maybe an extrude or a sweep, but really great for cleaning up geometry that is modified. And you again, if you need to go back to that original, you can drag that end of part. Uh, so really great feature and functionality when you are uh, working with geometry that needs to be edited quickly. The other thing too is, let's say you're doing some simulation and you need to get rid of small details. So there is a small chamfer on this inside edge and I believe there's one on the backside edge, yeah. And this is not gonna affect the simulation, whether that chamfer is there or not. So if I'm running some type of stress analysis or I'm running a, a thermal or whatever I happen to be doing with this, that's not gonna really affect it in any way. I can issue my delete face. I can turn on my heel. I can run my analysis so I can come over to my environment and I can run, you know, my Nashtrend NCAD simulation. And then whenever I'm all done, maybe I want that back because I don't want to change the model, but just for simulation purposes, I just take that end apart, drag it above and my part is back to normal. So really great for working with non-native, native simulation preparation, you name it. Make sure you check out the delete face command. Thanks everybody.